Welcome to part 17 of Let's Play Siphon Filter 2. I'll be doing the 17th level, which is another Gabe Logan one. And we're Gabe Logan for the rest of the game now. I have a love-hate relationship with this level. Um, it's both one of the best levels in the game uh, because of the design, the music, and the um, and the feel of it. But also, it can be quite frustrating. Um, so I have a love-hate relationship with it. But um, I've had a lot of practice at it, so it should be okay. Here's the movie. stable now. I thought your grandmother was kidding when she insisted on the medicine bag. Yeah, she's sweet. But you can thank Lawrence's medical knowledge for her reduced fever, not some superstitious bag of herbs. How long can we keep the virus in check? Not sure. I have no idea why, but her red blood cells are multiplying at an incredible rate. The virus is in production mode, creating plasma exponentially. Maybe. Like I said, I'm a pathologist, not a hematologist. You ready to make the call? The trace proof relays are all ready to go. Put him through. Logan, this is Lyle Stevens. I've been expecting you. Stevens? Doesn't sound familiar, but then I never could tell one pencil neck admin from another. We want you and Leon to come in. We have much to discuss. I don't think so, Stevens. I'd already decided to quit when my old boss tried to kill me. Having my transport plane shot out of the sky pretty much sealed the if deal. If you bring her in now, we can still save her life. You don't have much choice. Really? It seems that Markison was pretty reckless with agency security. Fagan had access to all of the agency's identity files and copied them for insurance. I now have all of Fagan's data disks and their encryption codes. Look, Logan, I don't know you, but I know that you are a loyal agent who wants to do the right thing for your country. You're not going to do anything that will jeopardize national security. Wrong, Stevens. What I am is a tired, angry fugitive whose partner is dying. Don't try me. What do you want? An even trade. Leon's vaccine for the discs. Accepted. We will meet at the... No. This is on my terms or no deal. I'll meet you at the facility on the Lower East Side. I'm not familiar with the facility. Yet. You know, the place you're sitting in right now. I know where the agency labs are. I'll take delivery of the vaccine myself and hand it to a courier who will take it to Leon. Once Leon is cured, I'll take you to the discs location. How can I trust you? You'll be holding me for insurance. Okay. I'll be waiting for you. I can't wait to meet you. I'll bet. No trick, Stevens. If anything happens to me, if the vaccine doesn't work, if Leon dies, I'll shut this agency down. We'll work this out. No one wants Yeah, this. right. Out. Sorry, sir. Wasn't able to complete the trace. Get someone from Archives up here. Logan's working with someone besides Leon Singh. I want to pull the records for agents who've worked with Logan in the last ten years. I mean everyone. Yes, sir. You don't trust him, do you? Obviously not but it's the only way I can get into the labs. They have no intention of curing Leon. What are you gonna do? They'll search me electronically. I need a weapon that will get by their security. I've got what you need. Now Gabe, don't laugh. Give him a chance to show you what he's got. You're kidding. A hollow tooth? Just a thing. Filled with a gas that's benign until you mix it with CO2. Breathe deep, hold your breath, bite it, and exhale. Anything that breathes it is dead. Thanks. I'll contact you when I get to New York. No way! You're not leaving me behind on this one. I can't ask you to do it. Leon is my friend. I quit the agency because I knew what they were. I should have warned her. Warned you. And didn't. I'm going with you. Okay. You sure Leon will be all right? There is nothing more we can do for her until we have the vaccine. Time is running out, I'm afraid. You two have been through a lot together. I can tell you feel something for her. Maybe. This will take. Be ready for anything. You've got the camera here. Now they'll take everything when you're searched. But once you're free, you'll need to retrieve it or you won't be able to get past their security. Got it. Be ready for the data dump. Once I find the central computer room, I'll be feeding you information fast. Already set up to go.
Stevens. This is Dr. Weisinger, our chief medical officer and biologist. She will be preparing the vaccine. You'll never see the vaccine, but let me show you how to give an injection. First, you immobilize the arm and You'll then You'll never inject. find her, Stevens. You'll... Take him to the security room OR. Let me know when he's ready. Dr. Heng Su is here for Shi Hao's shipment. I don't know how long I can stall him. We'll have her soon. Even if we got the plasma today, there would probably not be enough time to... I'll be in the data lab. Let me know when you are finished. Yeah, all right. Stall Heng Su. I'll get the information we need from both. Hmm, <gasps> <gasps> looks like that lab coat might just fit me. Okay, um, New York, Agency Biolab, 1309-1930, Operative Gabe Logan. Um, Fagan's data files have given you a bargaining chip to use against the agency, and you've agreed to a trade, the files for Leon's vaccine. However, Stevens has double-crossed you. You now find yourself trapped and alone in the agency's New York Biogenetic Laboratories, hidden 100 metres beneath a slum district on the Lower East Side. Stevens' deception was part of your plan as it allowed you access to their high security complex where you will be able to synthesize a vaccine. You are disguised as a lab worker with a low level security badge. This will help you get around but be cautious. If you get too close to any lab personnel or any security camera um, you will be recognized. Um, just uh, three things I have to say about that movie that really annoy me. Uh, one, the first thing is Lawrence Mujari saying I'm a I'm a pathologist, not a hematologist. I always thought that sounded ridiculous and sounded really like he was um, splitting hairs there. I'm a pathologist, not a hematologist. Um, although make of that what you will. Um, also, Teresa again keeps waving her arms around all the time. I don't know why the, um, they animated her like that. All the time she's walking around, she just waves her arms around like she's, you know, either bored or hyperactive. Um, the third thing, um, um, a little plot confusion. Um, Gabe said something about his old boss tried to kill him, so it was Markinson who ordered the, you know, who ordered the aeroplane to be shot down. But he was killed by Roma, so he must have ordered it beforehand. But I don't know why he did that because he was just getting the uh, the uh, the virus for the agency. Why did he want to kill Logan? I just don't get that. If anyone can explain the plot to me, I I'd be very grateful. Anyway. Teresa, I'm clear. I'm heading to security to get my gear. Then I'll find the data archives. I've grabbed him an extra lab coat and badge. It should help me get where I need to go. Roger that. I'll try to monitor your location. Be careful. Quickly pause to read the uh, objectives. Penetrate security net. Um, retrieve gear. Install cellular modem and synthesize vaccine. Parameters do not sound any alarms. Right, yeah, um, I should be okay at this mission, um, there are a few difficult points and the enemies are really sensitive, um, the agents are actually okay if you just keep away from them, but the lab personnel, they will recognise you, and also the cameras, avoid all the cameras, it's a bit of a maze this level, so you have to know where you're going, because there are certain places you cannot go to, um, at certain points, there's only a it's a very linear path, but it's difficult to find the linear path, if you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, here we go. From the start, we have no weapons and no flak jacket, but the agents, if they see us, um, will cause the end of the mission anyway, because the parameter's broken. Um, if, we, if we press X, we walk instead of crawl. To get past agents, don't touch them, don't run near them, and don't get in their field of vision. It's, it's pretty easy to get past them, really. There's only one way through this uh, level, um, and if you go the wrong way, you get to a dead end or meet an agent, so only go the right way, which is over here for now. You keep the section secure while I find a body bag for Logan's corpse. Yes, sir. That's horrible. Yeah, so don't run past him, otherwise he'll know you immediately. Um, don't touch him, and don't get in his field of vision. You can roll as well, but that might be uh, 
it's easy, it's easy to muck up. You know, he'll go left, he want to go right, just wait for the agent to go past, the, uh, then he can go. That's it. Just remember, don't run. He'll go round and come back, so you want to follow the, the left path past this block. Camera there, you can't get past it for now because it, the cameras always spot you. Let's so go over here, checkpoint, and then walk. Um, go to the right here because the agent's going to the left. That's it, just in here. And then, um, and then have a play with a computer. I'm patching you into the computer labs from here. I'm sure this system doesn't have access to sensitive files, but maybe we can find out where the main data storage is. Let me check. Uh, no. It's a low access system. You need to get into the level 5 security area. The only person with clearance is a guy named Gershon. His office is in section A. That section is sealed off. Let me study these schematics. There must be another way in. Right. Let me know when you find something. Out. Okay, the agent has gone all the way to the left and he's he's by the other exit up there. So you want to go out here and then go to the right. Go to the right again. Okay, start walking. Walk past this agent and get the knife that's on the table and then you can kill the two agents if you want, although it's not really necessary. The knife is only really for one agent that you can't get past. Yeah, uh, to do a stealth kill, just um, and stand next to them and press square, and then the animation starts. There we go. Okay, go this way uh, to get the other agent. I mean, stop. He comes round here. Lots of air vents, but don't worry about them for now. Okay, let's do a stealth kill on him. You can do it while moving if you want. Doesn't really matter. There we go. Although if you don't want to do it when he's moving, he will he will stop there for a bit. Makes it easier. You know, the other exit is, just comes out here, and the other agent is waiting there. So don't go out that exit. Anyway, uh, go over here, and then um, yeah, that's where the table was. Yeah, it's more like a like a bed trolley thing. Anyway, you want to go in here. In progress. Decontamination sequence completed. If you go in here again, this will happen. Decontamination sequence already completed. That's it. Anyway, the knife is only really for this man because you can't get past him without killing him. So a little stealth kill. And you get a K3G4. Hey man, I'm sick. I need some help here. Shut up. Soon it'll all be over. You won't have to worry about a thing. That's horrible. Yeah, that's Ramirez, but we can't get to him yet. We have to kill the two agents. So go in here. Oh my god, you're Logan! Okay, even though I let the man live in the last level, he doesn't do anything. This man, if you let him live, if, well, when you're trying to kill the agents, he will come out and say something like, We have an imposter, so you have to kill this man. Even though he's not, he's not posing a threat at the moment. Please don't hurt me. I just work here. I'm not responsible. I don't make policy. I do. I love that one-liner. <laughs> you know, yeah, the same with him. If you let him live, he'll say we have an imposter when you're trying to kill the agents. You'll hear some sort of. Um, uh, you'll hear some um, running behind you, and you'll wonder what it is, and it's actually him. 
or, or, or one of those, or one of them, and they'll say we have an imposter. Anyway, get the gear. Gabe, I think I found a way to Grishan. There's a network of heating ducts that links the two sections. You might be able to use them. Great. More ducts. My thoughts exactly. Inside the gear was a flak jacket, um, 9 millimeter. We got that from enemy, that from enemy as well. Uh, that's in the gear. Uh, that's in the gear, um, and the modem and the camera scrambler. I can't remember which one's which. You don't really need, uh, you don't really need to get them out. Uh, you just use them automatically. Anyway, we have to go and uh, talk to Ramirez now. You don't have to do this. This is quite amusing. That's the elevator control. Yeah, we don't need that yet. Um, in the next level, we need that. Don't shoot the computer. Whatever you do, otherwise you won't be able to use it. Okay, there's two agents. Yeah, so if you hadn't killed those men, they'd come out and warn the agents. Okay, headshot this one. That's it. Now use um, sniper rifle for this one. That's it. Very quick. Ramirez, you made it off the mountain. Anyone else? Only chance in me. Chance? Where is he? I don't know. They're holding him somewhere else. Okay, you hold tight here. I can't get you out yet. When I find Chance, I'll send it back for you. Yes, sir. Uh, you can actually run up to Ramirez, but you won't be able to talk to him until you kill the man up there. Obviously, if you try to run up to him when you haven't killed this man, you'll uh, you'll set the alarm off. Alright. Up here. Uh, don't forget the location of this door. We have to go there later, and I always forget... Uh, where to go when I need this door. Gabe, you'll need the network administrator's access card for this area. Wonder, I wonder if she's waving her arms around while she's saying that. Okay, go in here. You can't go left or right here. Both doors are locked. You need Gershon to open them, so don't bother with them. Just go down here. To use the camera scrambler, just get underneath the camera. As soon as you see the writing there, security camera, just press triangle, and that happens. You don't have to get the camera scrambler out. Anyway, there's no one around this corner, I hope. Good. And then, yeah, little cutscene starts here. I found the synthesis lab. Leon's vaccine. I wish it were that easy, Gabe. The lab is sealed, so you got to find another way in. Yeah, so the lab's sealed, you can't get in. Okay, over there is where we started, um, or rather where we went at the start, where the man said uh, about Logan's corpse. Um, that's the entrance. If you ever try to go in an air vent uh, that you're not supposed to go in yet, this will happen. Don't even think of leaving until you got the vaccine. And, and you can't go in it. And she always says that, no matter how many times you attempt to go in, I think. Oh no, um, yeah, she says it again if you if you go to another air vent that you're not supposed to go in, that's right. I'll, I'll try to find another one, here we go. Okay, immediately kill this man. He's, it's easier if you kill him now rather than later. So make sure you kill him now. There's the air vent, but don't shoot it yet if you... If you uh, uh, because we just got a checkpoint, if you shoot that now, another checkpoint will come. So if you want the checkpoint later, if you use checkpoints because you're not very good at this game, then uh, th uh, then shoot it later. Uh, don't shoot it now. Okay, kill this man quickly. That's it. Go down here. This one has a K3G4. He'll never see you. Yeah, so just load up on all the weapon you can, really. Okay, there's another man over here, and he's tricky. Just wait for him to walk past. He will eventually, you just have to wait a long time. Sometimes he's there already, but don't go there without waiting for him, because he will spot you. I'll just go for a little run. Keep Gabe's fitness up. But you must kill him, because you have to get past here to get behind the camera. He'll come eventually. 
Uh, oh yeah, whatever you do, don't shoot the lights. That that seems to set the uh, alarm off, even though, even though, even though I use a silenced weapon for it. Where is that man? He should have come by now. I'll go away and come back again. Oh, the dead body's gone. Yeah, they do disappear eventually. Oh, he's not coming, is he? I'll have to go and look for him. There he is. Yep. He came just as I went over there. Right, good. Hate that man. He always causes some sort of problems. The you know, if anyone spots me, it's always him. Always. He was being awkward. Anyway, um yeah, so you have to get behind the camera here. That's it. If you go there uh, before without getting rid of the camera, like go out of here and go over there, the camera will always spot you. Anyway, here's another uh, vent. So we can try to go in this one because it's the wrong one. Don't even think of leaving until you got the vaccine. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, she says it again. If you do another vent, you're not supposed to go into. Make sure you kill this man before you come down here. Otherwise, he can be awkward. That's why I kill him early. Um, he has a K3G4. Um, that door you can't go into. Uh, this door you can't go into. And then here's the vent you're supposed to go into. Um, That's the vent. And that causes the checkpoint. So if you don't want the checkpoint too early, don't shoot it early. Okay, this will spiral all the way up and around and eventually come out in Gershon's office. Mm, wrong way. There we go. Oops. There we are. Okay, go and talk to Gershon. Bef uh, before I do, I'll just explain. Um, you hold Gershon at gunpoint and he goes to the other door to open it for you. Along the way, another lab worker will come and say, Oh my God. And if you don't kill him, he will set the alarms off eventually. But if you le if you don't kill him early enough, he'll run off. And if you have to go away to kill him, um, you lose Gershon. Now, you can kill him with a normal weapon, like 9mm, but it's slow. Or you can get a headshot. You might not get him quickly enough with either the headshot or several body shots with a 9mm. So the best way to get him is with a taser. Works every time. It's the easiest way. Always use the taser on him. It's guaranteed to work. What the hell? Who are you? Don't touch the phone, Gershon, or I'll break your arm. Who are you? What are you doing here? Heating duct repair man. I need to get to the central data room and you're going to be my escort. Set off any alerts and I'll kill you. Let's go. Yeah, you can actually tase him before like that. <laughs> but don't kill him, whatever you do. It's end of mission if you do, because you need him. Okay, here's the man that, that spots you. Oh my god! Gabe, you've got to stop him! Immediately kill him with that. And, and I always find it amusing how Gershon um, ducks there. Anyway, don't let him run off. He runs down there and you have to chase after him. Gershon disappears. But if you don't chase after him, he sets the, pra uh, he sets the alarms off, which breaks the parameter. So... Easier just to use the taser on him or headshot him, but the taser's easier. Anyway, you can you can keep tasing him, it's quite funny. <laughs> One more, there we are. Okay, <laughs> get the G eighteen out now. That's too late. You'll never get out of here alive, Logan. Give yourself up now and spare us all the headache. Shut up and do what I say. Data console's over there. Help yourself. Right. On your knees, face the wall. Absolutely brutal. Um, if you don't watch that cutscene, if you skip the cutscene, um, Gabe won't kill him. He only kills him if you watch the whole cutscene. When I first played this, because I used to play it without watching the cutscenes, because I didn't want to, uh, um, I wasn't really interested in the story. I always used to skip that, and uh, Gershon would live. I'd either decide whether to keep him alive or kill him. But when I first watched this for the story and uh, and heard all the story and everything. Um, I was really shocked when he killed him like that because it's brutal and horrible. Anyway, okay, the button is behind here in the inside corner of this console. As soon as you press it, five men will come and they have headshots on you. The best thing to do is to hide behind here if you can. Um, that's the best thing to do. Trouble is, um, they have headshots on you. You sometimes don't make it, it's pretty unfair. Best to use the G18 on them. Um, while um, while the men are here, you can use loud weapons. But after the m um, before and after the men go, um, you can't use loud. If you if you shoot a loud weapon, you will set the alarm off. But while the men are here, you can for some reason. So you can use a G18 on them. 
Teresa, I'm downloading the agency security files. What have you got? The chief physician is a woman named Elsa Weisinger. You find her, you'll have the vaccine. Okay, keep downloading data as long as you can. I'll keep the hey, file. Hey, you! What are you doing over there? Stop! Damn it! Okay, quickly get behind the console. Sometimes you won't make that, and that's just luck. Um, so make sure you hide behind here, because there's two snipers. At the moment, there are two snipers there, and then one behind here. The one behind there won't do anything. Just, let's get the first sniper. That's it. And then, because of that, another man will appear. Yeah, here he comes. And he will come... Yeah, he will try. He will come straight at you. He won't. Yeah, you can't hide from him. Once he's dead, um, get the other one, the other sniper. That's it. And then get the last man. When you get this last man, another man will appear, but he's easy. That's it. So one more will appear now. Keep hiding. Hate that. The reload button's the same as the climb button. Yeah, here he comes. Only the uh, the two men on the balcony have flak jackets, I think. This man doesn't have one, so just wait until he stops moving, then uh, then headshot him. Try to get the perfect shot. That's it. Teresa, is the whole place on alert now? No, I managed to localize the security system and shut it down around the archive. It's temporary, though. Leon's better at this hacker stuff than I am. Sooner or later, their backup system will see something's wrong. You better hurry. I'm on my way to the medical labs now. Um, so if we use an unsilenced weapon again, we'll get caught. So um, let's get the um, nine millimeter out again. Um, um, Gershon's still over there. It's really nasty how he how how Gabe killed him because he did he did say that if if you try anything, I'll kill you, and he killed him anyway. Yeah, that one has a flat jacket as well. Oh no, he doesn't have a flat jacket, no. It's only this man, only the sniper that has a flat jacket. Yeah, only this man. I thought both of them did, but I was wrong. Um, anyway, yeah, the way back is over here. Um, get out of there, and then go back to where Ramirez was, which is over here. You can't go back into Gershon's office, the door's locked. You can get back in there through the vent, but you'll find you'll have to go out through the vent anyway because the door's locked on that side as well. Only Gershon can open that. Um, anyway, back to where Ramirez is, and then there's this door. You know, uh, because I've had loads of practice at this level, I, I know where the door is. But um, usually, if I haven't played this game for ages, I always forget where to go now, but it's through here. Intruder alert! Immediately kill the two scientists. Okay, you can headshot them if they want, they eventually stop moving, but don't leave them, they might, you know... Uh, 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 they might say you're an imposter or something to someone. Anyway, the only way to get this man is to press the switch which gasses him. Don't leave it too long because eventually the parameter will fail anyway. Uh, they'll be alerted somehow anyway. So press the switch now and that gasses him. Gabe! Thank God. They were shooting me up with some kind of drug. What the hell kind of place is this, Gabe? There's no time. I have a chopper outside a half mile away. Here are its coordinates. Take this, and get to the security room and free Ramirez. Get up to the street any way you can and wait for me at the chopper. Thanks, Logan. You saved my ass again. Just move. Anyway, yeah, so I don't know who designed that, uh, 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 the booth thing with a switch that gasses anyone inside. It's a bit stupid, but don't leave it too long. Otherwise, um, the, the scientist in there will alert people uh, because he can, because he's obviously in radio contact or something. So you have to kill him pretty quickly. Anyway, this is Chance's um, cell. Right, the only way out of here is in there. The only point of this place is Chance, so once you have Chance, get out. There's only a switch on that side. The other side is nothing. Uh, this isn't the lab or anything. I think if you shoot these, they explode, so don't shoot the yellow things. If there are any yellow things. No, they're just bottles. 
any yellow things there. Well, don't shoot them anyway, just just in case they explode, that'll set the alert off. I don't know why you would shoot them, but I tend to shoot things like that and, and then I regret it. Anyway, this way. Kill him. Easy peasy headshot. Grab his G18. You can see signs of the virus at work on the internal organs by looking for discoloration and swelling. This particular strain of the virus was programmed to affect only liver cells. Because the test subject was a heavy alcoholic, we wanted to see how the virus would react to liver cells differentiated by years of abuse. Look here. You can see that the virus cells have adapted nicely to the unforeseen cell structures and have performed their task adequately. How does the virus know which chromosome have been changed if its pre-programmed genetic structure have been altered? Come back with me to the viral lab and I'll show you the matrix we use. Okay, go and kill this scientist. Teresa, they're experimenting on living human beings. Yeah, you're not gonna believe what's in these data files. You're wrong. I'll believe anything at this point. Okay, I hate this area, and that's because of another reason, because it involves the next level. Um, I'll tell you all about that in the next video, but um, suffice it to say, this area gives me nightmares. Anyway, we can't go back. Um, so just climb down here. You can actually shoot the dead body. It doesn't matter, but blood comes out. Anyway. Go in here. Try that vent, Gabe. The virus started, of course, as a potent bioweapon. But as you can see, we have progressed far beyond that. Think of it as a supercomputer, a nanomachine that can be programmed on a genetic level. Incredible! This is just the beginning. The siphon filter virus is the next millennium. With the virus as a delivery system, no cell is immune. Cancer cells will become a thing of the past. Here, look at these slides while I go get the matrix data. I'll be right back. and then kill this evil scientist as well ah missed come here there we are how dare you cause me to waste my bullets don't even think of leaving until you got the vaccine another one i think yeah i think these yellow ones they explode in fact i'm pretty sure can't go back through the door so let's go and talk to Dr. Weisinger, or Weisinger, in, as it would be in German. Um, that's it. Dr. Weisinger, how good to see you again. You don't need a gun. I'm not very dangerous. Not unless you've got a needle full of poison. I want the vaccine for Leon Zing. Now. How did you get past lab security? Never mind. Of course you got by security. Steven set it up after all. Just give me the vaccine. Here, take it. It's too late, you know. The virus will already have begun to... And that's the end of the level, at last. Save the game. Okay, so in part 18, I'll be doing the next level, which is the Agency Biolab Escape. Thanks for watching part 17. I'll see you in part 18. Bye-bye.